Hey YouTube, this is Ace Pinkter. This is a follow-up to my tutorial on envelopes. Um, this is a subtractor right here, and um, the only real thing that's been changed here is this filter envelope. Alright, remember these settings, but uh, not so much the values. We're just going to listen to the sound, and we're going to try to come back to it later. So remember how this sounds. <laughs> Okay, that's a pretty slow envelope. Alright, um, this is what I intend to do here. I want to show you how we can visualize the effect of that envelope on our frequency right here. So what we're going to do is combine our single device. There's, there's really nothing else to combine, but nonetheless, put it inside a combinator. Go into the programmer, and we're going to map rotary 1 to the filter frequency. I'm going to look at the value here. It's 23, so I'm going to set this one for 23. All right. So now it should sound the same. And it does. Now, all we're going to do is go to the back of this particular instrument and I'm going to take the filter envelope and I'm going to map this to rotary 1. Now, the only thing I have to do apart from that is take the value here which is 81 I'm going to set it to 0 and I'm going to set the value on our input CV for rotary 1 to 81 to match so now the filter envelope will not be applied from the front however we're sending the same envelope out the back and what it's going to do is it's actually going to make our fader move when I press a key Now we can actually see how it's behaving. And this is a very good tool for if you're if you're trying to tweak an envelope or if you just need help understanding how these envelopes actually play. You can then play with them while you're pressing keys. And sort of witness uh, the very various effects that they will give you. That's all I got. It's a very simple trick. Um, but it happens to be the only way I can find for you to actually visualize the effects of this. Um, unfortunately, it won't work with the amp envelope. Even if you could map it to the level, that's not going to work because this there's no way to unapply the amp envelope on the front. So it's always going to take its value there, and you'll effectively have two signals um, moving this fader. Uh, one that you won't see. Yeah. Uh, I shouldn't make it more complicated than it is. Just remember how to do this. This is how you can visualize your filter envelopes. And I hope this was helpful to some of you out there. Uh, this is Ace Spinkter. That's all I got.